Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to be doing another video for you guys. You guys have been really supportive. All my subscribers, I want to say shout out to you. Shout out to you for the support and everything. And one more thing I noticed I want you guys to be doing is to make comments in the comment section. Please don't leave it I do. It really helps in building the YouTube algorithm. Also remember to share my video. Also remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed. I also observe that people are viewing my videos and they're not subscribing. I have a lot of viewers but less subscribers. Please subscribe. You are really helping me. It doesn't cost you any money. So in this video, we are going to be talking about reverse charging and how we can use it. So in this diagram, we get confused. Very simple. It's talking about phone A and phone B. But let's come back to our normal way of charging. We know that when you plug your phone to the source of electricity, which is the source, and the source is going to be our socket. You have a socket at home, you just plug your charger to it, and you plug your phone cord to your phone. Now, the current will flow from this point, which is the socket, down to your phone point B. That's normal charging. But when we see reverse charging, of course, the word itself reverse means opposite direction something that is meant to go straight will go in the reverse direction of it so flowing from point a to point b is a normal flow of current the current will now flow from point b to point a but of course you cannot use you cannot charge your your socket you have to charge a phone so in this case we're going to be using phone to phone the normal case of charging is from socket to phone but i'm going to use phone to phone Instead of using a socket, we use a phone. So the phone A becomes a source of electricity now, and the current will flow from, from, from phone A to phone B, which is the output, the one receiving the current. So when this phone receives the current, it starts charging. So that means that you can charge a phone with a phone. But one more thing I wanted you guys to put in mind is that do not try this. You have to also compare your battery capacity. We have what is called MEH that is your battery capacity you have to check it if for example the phone i'll be using in this video i'm going to be using a phone that has a battery capacity of 4200 and the other i don't really know the exact amount but i know that is something around 3200 mh so checking your image is also very important because you don't want to charge a phone that has an higher image than your own just like using a small generator small tiger generator that is not so powerful to power an hotel of course you know that it is in the hotel the small generator will not be able to carry it so the same also applies here you have to use a phone that has a higher battery capacity than the phone you are going to use to charge so in this case let's have the phone a is the one that is charging the phone b so phone a has to have a battery capacity that is higher than the battery capacity of phone b this is very important so that you don't spoil your phone of course, if you are going to use a very small generator to power a house that has a lot of equipment, it's going to struggle to carry it. Imagine when you own stores like, let's say, your freezer. Notice the this change of sound in the gen generator because it's trying to carry an heavy load. So you don't want to overload the phone because it's spoiled. I don't see any case where you'll be using reverse charging, but things could happen, things could turn out not good, and you might just have this as your only option if in case you don't have a power bank but i do not encourage reverse charging because it is not what is designed for but with the help of an otg you can do reverse charging so let me just show you a quick demonstration of how all this thing works sit back relax and enjoy so in this video i have the phone and the phone i'm charging this first one i notice that i have the otg here the otg that i plugged to the phone and the other one to the other phone and the one that i plug the otg to is the source of electricity that is charging the other phone so the other phone is uh, a small phone and same thing same result same otg and everything goes so well. it charges it perfectly and the phone i'm charging is way smaller so it just charges well you can try it out hi right, guys so i just see that this might be very useful for you and just imagine that you are in a situation whereby things go wrong and there's a blackout or something. You might just see that this might be the only option for you available. It might be the only option. Probably there's no electricity and the rest. There's no power bank. No, 
nothing to depend on and you are the one charging so you can just have the otg and your phone and charge other people's phones you can give them a particular percentage of your battery you can even start selling <laughs> this might be very funny but it can happen this happened i've been in a situation whereby there's a total blackout and there's no source of electricity anyway and this was the only thing i had to rely on so if you are if you, if you find this video helpful if you find it relevant or it added to your knowledge please remember to smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get more updates on my videos thanks so much